Okay, so we got called in because another company does the inspection and they told them they have a leak in their dry system because this compressor is running non-stop. When I came in, the compressor wasn't running and he said that that other company did something to get that to stop running, but he's not sure what. Uh, so anyways, so we're running about 25 pounds of air on the system. Uh, this bypass I opened up uh, just a while ago when the maintenance guy was here because I wanted to see if we were getting any air into the system, nothing. So then you look down, well, we don't have any air in the tank. We're at the same pressure as we are uh, in the system. Follow it around, comes up to this plug here, but it's, it is hardwired. This plug-in is actually going over to this auto drain that's draining the moisture out of the tank. Open up the panel, air compressor, 19. So that's how they got it to stop running. They shut the breaker off. Left the system in service. Um, I'm not sure how long ago that was. I know it's been at least two days. So this system has had the breaker off for at least two days and we're sitting at 25 pounds. So we do not have a leak in the system. We know that much. So we're gonna flip the breaker back on. So our system's up to pressure. Like I said, this has been, the system got up to pressure pretty fast, um, but the, the compressor is not building past this air pressure. Um, so basically the compressor is just, it's, it's at the end of its life. It's worn out. You know, it can pump air up to a certain pressure and it can't build past that. Being the, you know, pistons inside, everything, the rings on it's just wore out. Uh, so, we will quote them to replace the compressor. So what I'll do now is I am going to hook up my temporary air compressor and uh, get that piped in and we will get this in service for them. Um, but yeah, I just find that I don't know who did it and that's the other thing, you know, guys like to to jump to conclusion that, oh, it must have been the other company, um, you know, whoever that other company was, uh, you wanna jump and say, well, they must have shut the air off, shut the breaker off, but, but I don't know that. Uh, it easily could have been one of the maintenance guys that came in. Um, so I have no idea who did it, but that was a bad idea. So they shut this valve off this valve off, this valve off. Obviously our fast fill was already off and they shut the breaker off. So there's, you know, no way was this system gonna get any air. And that's fine if the, you know, it's something so bad the compressor, you know, is gonna catch fire or whatever, you need to shut it down. Uh, but they left the water on. So if we had any leaks in the system, you know, eventually this valve was gonna trip. So that, that was a bad idea. But anyways, uh, these are things you run into all the time when you come in. There we go.
So our next problem is going to be power because I'd like to plug in right here, but that's the breaker for the compressor. So that will be a little bit of an issue. That's lovely. I feel like we're missing something here. Cover goes on here. Here's our switch, which you can see there. Connects that. That cover goes on. Feel like there's something missing. Well, we will call. Uh, they got electricians here. Call them over. See if they'll just unwire this um, compressor for now. He has unwired it. I don't know if he did it there or in here. I don't know where he did it. But anyways, breaker's back on. So we have power here. And then this part should be pretty simple because uh, we already, you know, we're going through the regulator, so I don't really need to set any pressures and this is all temporary uh, it's gonna get noisy I had the three-quarter globe valve shut off on the system and noticed that my air compressor was losing air so here I'm just soaping everything down trying to figure out where the air leak is ended up being the strainer on the air maintenance device and so what I end up doing was just rehooking up to where I'm not going through the regulator on the air maintenance device anymore. And I'm just using the regulator on my air compressor since this is just a temporary setup. And that worked out just fine. So we'll probably just go with the new air maintenance device along with the compressor. So our check valve is leaking by and our valve is leaking by. I don't know if you can hear that. So, because I'm fully closed here and you have a check valve here. So both those are leaking by. Here's what's going to happen. So I say, okay, I'll replace, I'm already replacing the AMD. We're already in this deep. We're replacing the uh, relief valve. So let's go ahead and replace the globe valve. And let's do the check valve too, because we know it's also leaking by, because it should be sealed up, which those are brass on brass and hardly ever hold. Um, or we could pull it apart, try and clean it. Yeah, good luck. So anyway, so I decide, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Well, the first thing that happens, I go to take this out and this nipple snaps. It's either gonna break here or it's gonna break right at the dry valve. Um, most likely. It, and based on how everything else has been going, I can almost tell you that is gonna snap. I'm gonna be really mad if I go through all this work and these glow valves don't hold and we're still leaking air. this back up shut off here shut off here assuming that's holding all 
All right, I got some air going through now. Saw the gauge come down just a little bit. So we're gonna take some pictures. Uh, that way, when I walk out of here and I send uh, Nick all the information on what to quote, and then he asked me something I didn't think about. <laughs> uh, at least I have pictures to fall back on. So the other uh, problem here is now I gotta get them a quote for a new compressor. Well, you have to meet that NFPA fill time of 30 minutes. So I need to know what size system this is. Now there's absolutely nothing here to tell me that. Uh, So one generic way of figuring it that I've done, and it's been, it's worked pretty good. Um, as I know, this compressor is rated at 28 CFM, actually square cubic feet a minute, but uh, at 90 PSI. So lower than 90, it's actually producing a little bit more. But with this particular compressor, I've had pretty good luck at, I just time how long it takes to fill that system um, up to the 30 pounds or whatever. And then I know that, you know, if it was, if it took me 30 minutes to get it up to pressure, well, then I know anything at you know, basically I just go off of three CFM or bigger will be just fine. Um, you know, I'll make it then. So I just kind of base it off of how long it takes me to fill. And then I get, I figure it up, uh, on what size to go with. Okay. So that in itself, the fact that we dropped down to 20 that fast, just through a little quarter inch line, uh, we know this system's not a very large system. So that's already telling me that much. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna fill it from 20 up to 30 pounds. And I'm gonna time that. We'll open her up. Starting time, fire up the compressor. Or three minutes to bring it up 10 PSI on a compressor that's only putting out 2.8. So, you know, we're, we're good. Uh, that compressor there would have met the 30 minute fill time. Uh, Cause the higher you get on your uh, pressure, the less CFM is coming out of the compressor. So I know that, you know, if it only took me three minutes to jump 10 pounds at my higher end, then I'm definitely gonna be. So, you know, we're only talking three minutes, which it, like I said, it'll actually probably be a little faster. Three minutes, six minutes, nine minutes. So, you know, this little compressor is gonna fill the system in 10 minutes. So I'm good, I feel good. We'll get, you know, we can go with a fairly small CFM uh, compressor. Uh, we are going to go ahead, replace the, all this trim. If you've got any comments, please leave them. Uh, really appreciate if you would like and subscribe that will help grow this channel and thank you for watching